Yesterday at the White House, Donald Trump hosted a meeting with students, parents, and teachers that have been the victims of and or survivors of gun violence at either Sandy Hook, Columbine, or Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Reporters at the meeting filmed Trump holding handwritten note cards reminding him to say things like, I hear you, to his guests. Simultaneously, outside of the White House, high school students protested Trump and one of his biggest campaign contributors, the NRA. Over 200 young people gathered in front of the White House to protest and chant against Trump and his love and support of the NRA and his acceptance of their campaign money. Breaking through his cameras were rolling as students chanted this in unison. When do we want it now? When do we want gun control? When do we want it now? When do we want gun control? When do we want it now? When do we want gun control? When do we want it now? Since the Parkland, Florida shootings at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School it killed 17 people, the majority of the faces of anti-gun violence activism and those demanding legislative or executive gun reform have been high school students. So it was no surprise to see so many young people gather in front of the White House to protest. The protest was peaceful and patrolled by heavily armed members of the Capitol Police and the Secret Service. Inside the White House, Trump promoted mental institutions and arming teachers as a way to stop these massacres. Betraying some of his biggest supporters today, Trump flip-flopped on the issue leaving many confused as to what his stance is and what direction the debate may go in the future. And this would only be obviously for people that are very adept at handling a gun. And it would be, it's called concealed carry, where a teacher would have a concealed gun on them. They'd go for special training and they would uh, be there and you would no longer have a gun-free zone. At the protest outside, emotions ran high, and these young people not only want their voices heard, but they want action. We want him to change it. If it's time, if, I'm, if he wants to gain respect of America, this is the time now. He can change this. He can change the gun control. This young lady put it as blunt as she could, as she demanded the Trump administration take action to protect her life. I don't want to die. I don't want my friends to die. I don't want what my teachers to die. I just want kids to grow up. I want them to see their parents at the end of the day. Anyone that loves them, I want them to be able to say I love you too. And that's all I want. That's what I'm fighting for. At the White House in Washington, D.C., Theodore Whitelow for Breaking Through.